Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about topic the analogous estimating. Friend, today's topic is very very interesting, especially if you have interest in estimation of projects and you want to learn about it. So let's start, friend. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my videos can reach to you and also you can follow me on the Facebook page as well. Friend, analogous estimation basically it is a technique used in project management. Uh, so that you can estimate the uh, duration and the cost of a project. For example, you are um, you are in initiating or implementing a project of e-commerce, okay? So, and you want to know that how much duration, how much time is required to complete that project, and how much cost will be required to complete the project. For example, so what you can do, you can use the analogous estimation technique. In this technique, what we do that we compare the uh, project with other uh, previous projects like for example in the, in in the past if we have done the similar project in the past for example the uh, in the past we have done that project in which we it will require uh, five months for the duration uh, for the completion of project and for example thousand dollar was the cost for the implementation so you can based on this uh, information of historical information from previous projects you can estimate that okay uh, if that pro because this project is uh, more complex than the previous one so you can say maybe uh, approximately six to seven months is required and for example uh, uh, for example 1000 cost for the previous project so uh, 12000 cost is uh, required for this project so basically by using the historical information from previous projects we do the estimation this is called as the concept of the analogous estimation that by using the historical uh, information of previous projects we can do the estimation for the duration and cost of the project uh, basically it's an approach in which basically uh, uh, we adopt we use this approach when we have less information uh, okay and uh, we have to do the estimation on urgent basis okay so basically this is the approach for estimation of uh, time and cost now uh, friend basically analogous estimation is the top-down approach top-down approach means that uh, we do the estimation as a whole for example you can say uh, for example you can say six months is required for this project of implementation of the e-commerce solution for example and now what you do you can say for example like for example one month is required for planning uh, for example two month is required for development the uh, one month is required for uh, testing so based on the overall estimation first we do the overall estimation okay like for example six months is required for the completion of a project then you break down into further modules okay so this is called as the concept of top down approach here remember top down top down means you do the estimation from top level and then break it down into further uh, small pieces uh, apply this same approach on the cost and duration as well duration means the completion time required for a, for a project and cost required to complete a project the cost uh, is required this is called as top down approach now when uh, we should use the analogous estimation friend uh, normally we use the analogous estimation when we are in the uh, initial stages of a project initial stages means that you meet with a customer you are in, his, in in the initiation phase initiation phase means that you are discussing with the customer customer says that okay we need some sort of e-commerce solution then you recommend that okay six to seven months are required for the implementation this is the cost so basically when we are in a initial stage of a project we use this estimation normally secondly we have limited estimation resources that means uh, uh, we have we don't have uh, like we don't do the drill down level estimation we do a rough uh, order uh, rough estimation actually uh, here the as it is on a very initial stages of a project so project details are very less available like the scoping the deliverables at a better at a very high level information is available drill down level information is not available uh, then uh, normally it happens that for example customer is asking that he needs this solution and uh, you are just giving them the rough estimate the rough estimate that so that they can get an idea that how much cost is required how much time is required and uh, 
also uh, this type of estimation requires the expert judgment as well expert judgment means means that for example a project manager who has already implemented e-commerce solution in past for example, two to three projects he has uh, he has already implemented so he has the expert knowledge he has the expert uh, judgment that this type of project should be completed in maximum two to uh, four to five months uh, etc the advantages of analogous estimation is that first it saves time why it saves time because you are not doing the uh, drill down level estimation so it uh, saves time again it saves money as well secondly uh, it uh, and local estimation is more appropriate during the initial stages of a project planning so you can use it to refine your estimation at any point throughout the project it is useful when you have little historical data for a project like uh, less information of information available for a previous project also it requires few resources and is easy to perform because you are not doing the drill down level estimation so from with few resources you can do the estimation to perform as well the uh, disadvantages of analogous estimation is that first of all it is a f it function at a basic level Analogous estimation is not as accurate other uh, project estimation because it is not a drill down level. Okay, so you are doing the estimation with less resources and a, at a very high level estimation. So it is not so much accurate as compared to other estimation. Uh, when using analogous estimation project manager assume that various factor of similar past project will remain the same for the current project because variables such as resources and inflation rates change constantly. The figures uh, the figure managers used in their estimation might not be accurate like this is an assumption that the uh, deliverables or the things will be same as uh, compared to the previous projects but it is an assumption it may be wrong because we know that every project is unique every project is temporary so you can't say that if the previous project has taken five months so this project will also take five months as well it is not the uh, hundred percent right approach then analogous estimation is more appropriate for the initial planning stages of a project rather than using in the execution stage. Like if you use the analogous estimation at the initial stage, it's good. But if you are using this stage in the execution stage, when project is execute, ex actually executing like software developers are actually uh, executing or developing the uh, modules, at that time using that the analogous estimation, it is a wrong approach because at that moment, the drill down level or detail level of estimation is required so it is better to use analogous estimation at the time of planning and it should not be used as the execution stage if you use the analogous estimation at the execution stage it will be a uh, it will be a problem for you so friend thank you thanks a lot for uh, watching the video i hope uh, you like this video uh, if you like it please share it with your friends and colleagues and thanks a lot for watching the video